this is Sharon Beck. It is week four, and I am talking to you from Brandman University. This is my reflection post for week four. So this week we learned a lot more. We continue to work on management issues, and we I particularly was struck by the article by Jane Howell where she talks about studying 72 innovations in 38 uh, companies and that she really came up with three things were important for effective champions. They, had, they convey confidence and, and enthusiasm about the innovation. They enlist the support and involvement of key stakeholders and persist in the face of adversity. And of course, it was number three that really struck me as persistent in the face of adversity because I feel like my skills really do lie in being um, in managing workarounds. That's what I really excel in. And there's nothing wrong with that. I think it's, it's a, an effective strategy that often is extremely effective, but good grief, I feel like at this point in my career, I probably better become a little better at just maintaining in the face of adversity. I feel like if there's any leadership thing that I don't do enough of is when I know something's right, to just become a hurdler, keep working on ways around it. I also found interesting this week the um, info on complexity science and how when you're trying to predict forward, it just isn't easy because it's not linear. And it can go, it's unpredictable, it can go in any direction, and you really don't know what you're going to come up with when you're working on trying to, to understand what's going to happen in the future. I feel like that's the position that we are in in my hospital right now. I mean, we're all trying to figure out what's ahead and how we can effect, excuse me, effectively manage it. But I don't think that the line staff who in models of care are shown to be the people that are best suited to respond to changing conditions, we aren't really being given enough information about what is happening out there, um, the budget that we are expected now to be working under after January 1st. I'm not sure that anybody knows for sure, but I know that upper management is meeting, meeting, meeting to try to figure this out, and so far none of us have been let in on this at all. Now, Friday or Wednesday before um, before we had the break for Thanksgiving, we did have a meeting with my manager and myself and our entire team asked him if there was any possibility that we could know anything about the finances and what they think we need to operate under so that we can be useful in trying to help figure out the change. My fear is that the money, that they are making quite a bit of money on the Department of Psychiatry right now. When I came to the hospital six years ago, the average number of patients that the staff saw was four a day and did various education and therapy groups. Now the average number that a staff member sees is six a day, which is a really kind of big increase. Um, we, are, we now operate in the black, and I know we make money. I also know that it is not being poured back into the department, so who in the world knows what happens to it? I really think that the, for a hospital such as ours that takes public funding and is supposed to act as the county hospital, really ought to be able to have a, a goal of managing to just have enough money to break even. I feel like it's great to, to break even, but extra money should be plowed back into the department, the work, salary adjustments for the workers. Um, the, I am an RN, so I'm making more money than the average um, case therapist over there, but the case therapists make less than 50000 a year. Most of them probably make around forty. These are people with master's degrees. This seems ridiculous to me. So, I don't know. I really believe that if there's a lot of things that could help make the way that we are working in our department 
more efficient, but since we are not given much information, it's really hard to know what that might be. This is Shan Sharon Beck from Brandman University, who continues, as you can tell, rather frustrated with her job situation, but she has an exit plan. It will end in less than a year, so she is going to manage just fine, but she would like continues to want to make some changes in the department before she goes.